Elven Assassin is one of those older VR games that I have a lot of nostalgia for. That's because this is the first multiplayer game my dad and I both bought when we first got our Vive systems. So we played this together for dozens of hours and have gotten a lot of great memories out of it. It's recently been ported to the Quest, so I was really excited to try it out. It's a defense archery wave shooter in a fantasy setting. There's four defense maps and one PvP map as well. In the defense maps, there's a single gate that you need to protect from various evil intruders. If too many make it through the gate, then it's game over. You will eventually lose, it's just a matter of how long you'll last. As you gain experience, you can spend points to learn magical spells. Your spells are loaded into one of four slots that you can summon while pulling back your arrow. Unfortunately, I had to learn all my spells over again from the beginning because it doesn't link with the Steam version, but that does give me an incentive to play again. You can also spend cash you'll earn to customize your avatar with new helmets and bows. The avatar stuff is simply cosmetic, which isn't my cup of tea, but it's cool. And by the way, you can customize which hand is your dominant hand, which of course is really important in an archery game. You'll face off against orcs on the ground, some of which will throw axes that you need to dodge, as well as flying foes, both large and small. There's a handful of predetermined locations that you can move to, just shoot an arrow at the blue rings to go there. There's no free movement. If you play the Steam version, note that the gameplay is identical. Of course, there are graphical compromises they had to make, but for a quest port, it looks really good. And I think the multiplayer mode plays alongside the other versions of the game because there's always other players online whenever I play. There's a million wave shooters out there, but I find Elven Assassin to be one of the classics with straightforward gameplay that's still fun to this day, especially for newcomers to VR. And it's great that there's now an Oculus Quest port. The price is $15. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!